Well, our kids are super excited because Papa and Mugga are in town. They got here late last night. You excited to see Papa? Yeah. Do you see Papa? Oh. Say hi, Papa. Yeah. Say hi, Grandma. Grandma. Oh, hi, little Laura. Do you want to go give them hugs? Oh, oh you're, you're a cuddly one. Remember the tickle monster? The tickle monster went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Then the tickle monster woke up. <laughs> All right, so we just figured out Isaac's costume. He's really excited about it, but it was a lot more expensive than any of the other kids' costume. So what are you going to do, bud? Pay for it. You're going to pay for part of it? Yeah. You've been saving up some money, huh? Mm hmm How much money do you got there? Um... $31.24. All right, so we're headed out to Hy-Vee this morning. We are getting our pumpkins. We need a pumpkin to carve. I know, I know we're late getting our pumpkins. Sorry about that. But we also are getting a pumpkin for dinner tonight because every year we eat a dinner and a pumpkin and tonight's the night. So, who's excited to get some pumpkins? Me! Is it heavy? Whoa! Daisy, <laughs> put it down, put it down. You need some help? Is that too heavy? Do you find a good one? Yeah. So what makes a good pumpkin? Round, big. Yeah? Laura, what makes a good pumpkin? <laughs> she shrugged her shoulders. I don't know. I Caleb, you did you get so in the pumpkins? Cute. How did you get in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, did you pick one out? Yeah, yeah. this one. This one's gonna be our jack-o'-lantern? And it's hollow. Ooh. All right, what should we name him? Um, Johnny Apples. Checking out the lobsters. Is this water? It is water. Why That's do they live in water? Because lobsters are kind of like fish that they live there. Why do they have rubber bands around their claws? Why do you think? So they won't get each other? Maybe. Or maybe so that if you had to stick your hand in there, they wouldn't get you. Um. So we're almost done shopping. We found little pumpkins for each of the kids to paint, which I'm really excited about. And there has been some really good sales, not to mention some good samples. Yum. So we've always done dinner in a pumpkin, but we're trying a new recipe this year, and Papa is cutting the pumpkin open. The first step is cutting the top of the pumpkin off and cleaning it out, just like you're getting ready to make a jack-o'-lantern. So Cubby's got his tool. You helping? He's helping. He's helping? He's, he's my main man. Papa's repairing this hinge. The hinge. It was broken. Somebody's been climbing on it. Has your mom been climbing on the cabinets? No, who climbs on the cabinets? Me. Our house is always very glad that Papa came to visit. All of a sudden our lawnmower is functioning better and all of our doorknobs are a little tighter and nothing squeaks when it opens and shuts. It's just nice. So Elise just blew her first bubble and now she's trying to blow another one. She just did over there. All right, so we are quite the assembly line. We're chopping chicken and carrots and broccoli. Everybody's helping. And um, anyway, my job is I'm cutting, I'm gonna be dicing this onion. And I was standing here next to my dad and I said, hey, a viewer recently told me that if you hold matches in your mouth while you're cutting the onion, then you won't cry. And he looks at me and he says, lit matches or unlit matches? And I just busted up laughing, picturing myself <laughs> cutting an onion with matches on fire in my mouth. like. I would probably cry, but for a completely different reason. So anyway, thank you for that tip. I'm going to have to try it, and I'm going to assume it was unlit matches. Okay. So, so these two are learning baseball statistics. Yeah. That's a hard word to say. Statistics and um, decimals, math, and division, and everything related yeah. to that. So they're having a good time. Yeah. Are you having fun with Papa? Yeah. Guys, there's the craziest sound in our garage. What is it? It's a frog! We found it. It's a little frog! It had the deepest voice. Oh, it's a little baby frog. Let's <laughs> not kill it. Oh, for sure we're not gonna kill it. Look at that little frog, guys! Yay! Okay, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, little guy, we want to help you out. <laughs> Is it Outside! Outside, yay, born free. There he goes. All right, you're free at last, little guy. 
So I don't know if I've mentioned it recently, but I was actually homeschooled for part of my growing up years. And so my parents homeschooled me and my three other siblings. And so when they come into town and they're with us, it's so nice because they just dig right in and get hands on. And my dad does a lot of math and you know, like how things work with the kids and some science. And like right now he's showing Isaac how the lawnmower works. And he explained like two cycle engines and four cycle engines. And my mom's upstairs doing like math addition sorting pattern activities with all the Halloween candy with Caleb and Elise. And so it's just so nice. They really understand the hands-on element of learning that we try to have at our house. And they just jump right in. I'm so grateful for them. Papa's working on the chair. Yep. A chair that daddy sat. This is what it looks like in the oven, baking away. It is a lot of hassle and every year I'm like, should we really do the dinner and the pumpkin this year? But it's just cool and it's a fun tradition. I hope it's something the kids grow up remembering. Hey Lucy, what are you making? Apple crisp. Mm, for dessert, we're gonna have warm apple crisp with um, ice cream. I have been craving this, so I was really excited about it. So my daughter, Kendra, when she was very young, was kind of short. So she would always stand on her tippy toes to reach the counter. And apparently, even though she is no longer short, she is perfectly capable of continuing to stand on her toes. So I don't even notice that I'm doing it. Like, it's just built into me. Like, I just stand on my tippy toes all, all the time. time. Every time I turn around, she's standing on her toes, and it is so cute. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. We get made dinner and a pumpkin for a car set and paint set. There's dinner and a pumpkin? Awesome. And we're gonna carve Welcome one. Home. And we're gonna carve one and paint some. Well, they're not excited at all. I like this this stick and jack in baseball. Nice. Like with that. The trick to dinner and a pumpkin is when you're serving the dinner, you have to scoop to the side and get some of the pumpkin flesh with it. So you eat the pumpkin with your dinner like this. This is from the pumpkin ring. Yeah. You're not sure about dinner? Yeah. We like to try new I things, love right? Squash. You love squash? I bet you're gonna love this then. We very rarely watch our vlogs together, but this came up on YouTube for us. It's our Christmas Day vlog. It's like a doggy door in the back. <laughs> Kids look so different. Like we were just talking about how Lisey's long hair was different and <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we're watching our last year Halloween specials. And it's just so fun to see it. We never do this. The kids are so little and just like the little tiny moments. I'm really enjoying it. Kids are so funny though. She's like, I can see why our kids enjoy this, but why does anybody else like watching our vlogs? Good night. Say yourself. Happy Halloween. Say happy Halloween. Halloween. Say trick or treat. Trick or treat.